Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Text Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about knit fabric structure analysis of a mistuck PQ fabric. Actually, it is a continuation video of video of my previous video, single tuck PQ and double tuck PQ. Actually, the difference what we find in this video is actually in this structure while analyzing, you can see you can analyze all the three stitches, knit, miss, and tuck all the three stitches in a single fabric. As usual, we need to follow our thumb rule as a mandatory one. Uh, we need to remove the loosened threads and followed by the vertical line to make sure the structure analysis is the perfect one. Now I am going to unravel the course number one. Before analyzing the course number one, I could able to see in the even needles. Actually, we were notifying the stitches. We are notifying the structure after this vertical line, whatever the structure we are getting that we are notifying it. Actually in the even needles, I could able to see the half moon structures. You can see two, four, six, eight. In all the even needles, I found the half moon structure. It is nothing but the tuck stitch that we learned in, the, in our previous videos of single tuck PQ and double tuck PQ. So while unraveling this course number one, we could get the, the tuck stitch in the in the particular course. Now we are going to unravel the course number one. Course number one, knit followed by tuck, knit followed by tuck, knit followed by tuck, knit followed by tuck. After that vertical line, I could be able to identify the course number one is with knit, tuck, knit, tuck. So as usual with the similar notations that we have followed for our previous videos, the same way the course number one we have notified as knit tuck knit tuck. So now I'm, we are going to unravel the course number two. Course number two after that vertical line the loop is getting unraveled complete the loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle. So it is nothing but uh, knit, knit stitch the knit stitch is there across all the needles. So it is very easy to notify. The course number two is with knit, 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 knit. So let's move on to course number three. <coughs> After that vertical line, the loop is traveling directly to even needles, two, four, six, eight. Actually, the loop is not visible in the odd needles. One, three, five, we couldn't see the any loop appearance, not even neither the complete loop is getting unraveled under uh, half moon structure we we couldn't see these both these structures knit and tuck but the yarn is traveling from here to here i mean zeroth needle to second needle and second needle to fourth needle and fourth needle to sixth needle so it means the the stitch which is uh, which is in the odd needles 1 3 5 is all misstitch. Actually, the misstitch travels flat on the technical backside of the fabric, which we could not be able to see on the technical face side. So, what we are viewing now is a technical face side view. So, the misstitch always travels on the technical backside of the fabric. Once formed the loop in the zeroth needle, it travels in the technical backside and formed the loop with even needle number two uh, number two and again traveled flat and then again it formed the loop with the fourth needle and then again traveled flat again and it formed the loop in the even sixth needle this is how the loop got traveled so it is very clear it is miss knit miss knit miss knit so we can notify the course number three as miss knit miss knit and to make you all understand still better, actually I have just taken a uh, photo of the technical backside of the fabric. Actually in this you can see the loop here. You can see there is a loop and it travels from this loop to this loop with the flat line in the adjacent needle. So this structure is called as miss. So here you can very clearly see it forms the loop here and again it travels flat and it forms the loop here again travels flat and forms the loop here. So this particular structure, this particular stitch 
is called as miss miss always travels on the technical back side of the fabric on the technical face side you could not see that so now it's clear for the first three courses so let's move on to course number four let's unravel the course number four even in the course number four before unraveling i could see the half moon structures in the odd needles in the first course while unraveling i have seen i could able to see the half moon structures on the even needles but here it is on the odd needles let's unravel the course number four after that vertical line it is very clear tuck followed by knit tuck followed by knit knit the complete loop is getting unraveled followed by the tuck stitch so the course number four is knit tuck knit tuck knit <coughs> so first four courses we have completed and we are going to unravel the course number five in course number five i could see the complete loop is getting unraveled in each and every needle after that vertical line so it is very easy we can notify it as knit 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 so now we are going to unravel the course number six actually after that vertical line the odd the odd loop travels directly to i mean the first needle travels directly to three three travels to five five travels to seven so uh, <coughs> as we uh, analyzed in the course number three it is a knit followed by miss stitch the <coughs> the first needle once the loop is formed it <coughs> once the loop is formed here actually it travels in the technical back side and forms the loop with the loop number 3 and again it forms it forms the after form, after forming the loop with the needle number 3 it travels on the technical back side and again forms the loop with the needle number 5 so it is getting <coughs> continued in this way so it is very clear the course number 6 is knit miss knit miss so since i know the mistuck pq structure this particular structure is a six feeder repeat i have completed my analysis with the six feeders so whoever is following whoever is uh, analyzing for the first time please unravel more number of courses so that you can freeze the perfect repeat i hope this video is very useful and informative thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel see you all in the next video till then bye from your money text guru bye bye